Honey Punk Out Clave. Nice catch. I knew it was gonna go. Jeez. Nice. Can I have a glass, please? A what? Glass, please. Take your time, y'all. Oh, yo. What's going on, y'all? What's up? Oh man, uh, about to have some dinner now. You guys been wanting to know how a vegan meal looks and what you do for a vegan meal? Yes, just need a cup. I just need a cup here. So, what I'm gonna do is Chicago. Chicago, chicken in the car. Chicago, but this is Arizona. Chicago is where I went for my uh, uh, for one uh, a meeting I had to go to that lasted for a week. Oh, okay, so I guess we got to get some Arizona mugs. But um, yeah, we live here. I yeah. didn't live in Chicago. Chicago was just in New York either. Keep that, keep your hydration up. Yeah, I like to drink at least one glass of water before I start eating. Once again, this is the meal. That's how you get down. Got some heirloom tomatoes or tomatoes, whichever one you want to, however you want to list it. Got some potatoes or potatoes, whichever way you want to say it. And then I got the good old broccoli in here. So that's how a vegan meal goes. You can add some different sauces or, you know, natural sauces, some flavoring, natural flavoring things. There's a lot of different things you can do. You don't have to get the salty salt flavorings and things. Um, it just depends on what you feel like, what you, you know, how you feel like doing things. So, all natural. A map of what, please? Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> thank you. Mm -hmm. So, what happens now is, mm, mm, broccoli, boiled potatoes, a little bit of lemon on the broccoli, little pepper, little sea salt, very lightly, not really needed, but it just tastes so good. Then, um, then, uh, a lot of times I add some, uh, hummus or whatever with this. Um, I'll do some sriracha sauce. Um, 
so many different things to do. It's so fun when you have vegan meals. They're so fun and happy. Mm. Melt in your mouth. So I'm gathering my information now. Try to start my job search. And oh, one point I want to point out too. I think it's from my from my boy. I think he made the comment. My boy TJB. What's good, B? Yeah, um, gave me good, you know, advice on how to set up the apartment and stuff, how to, you know move the bins around or whatever it's in here. You got to understand, we just came off of a five long day road trip. 17 hour day rides, 14 hour day rides twice, 12 hour day once, and a 10 hour ride for another. They were long drawn out days. You know, we stayed overnight, hotels, sweet one night, but we are very tired. We're still like winding down. Um, it takes a while to set up an apartment. You don't just blink your eye and all of a sudden everything is put where it needs to go. We have a huge, by the patio, we have a huge storage area that we can store things. We haven't even finished going through everything yet. The second bedroom that we have, we can't make it a weight room. We're going to have plenty of company to come visit from the East Coast and we got, you know, we got family, we got friends, we got mom, you know, so we, they're all coming down, man, and they are going to have that bedroom to stay in. That's the guest bedroom. So by the time we situate everything, finish going through everything, and we're not rushing to do it, it'll be done before the end of this week. But right now, you know, yeah, we have some things that we didn't completely go through and put away. Do you know we had like 40 boxes at least? We had at least 40 boxes worth of things that we had to, full of things, big boxes, little boxes, million boxes that we had to put everything where they need to go. So for what we did so far, that's a big deal. So I respect the fact that you say that we should turn it into a gym, but we're not even going to be here. We're only going to be here for a year. We have a little outdoor gym now. We're going to, you know, we, we got a plan. Like we, we, we got this, but I appreciate for the, you know, for the input. Um, and yes, everything will be completely out of here and set up nicely. And we have a lot of things we have to do here also. So it takes time, man. It's like, you don't just like, it's not I dream a genie. You know, you blink your eye and then all of a sudden everything is done. It takes time. But anyway, um, so yeah, now that I'm out here, I'm going Saturday. My nephew that's been here for eight years is going to take me around to different salons and different things, different places as far as like for a job hunt. But um, if any of you, because a lot of, you know, a lot of you out here are, you know, very knowledgeable of Arizona. So if you have any, like, I don't have to be a hairstylist. I'm not really, you know, I want to do something that's going to give me some benefits and things where I can be off on Saturday and Sunday and I can work like stable hours, like, you know, nine to five. So I don't really want to, you know, being a stylist, I'm going to be working nine and nine. I'm going to be working Saturday. I might even be working Sunday. Like, and then they don't have, like, benefits. So I don't think I really want to get back into that. I will do that on the side. Always I'll do that on the side. But for my main job, you know, if you guys have any idea, then, you know, put the comment below. You know, help your boy out or whatever the case. You guys helped out with so much stuff already. You have great ideas. Um. Once again, too, um, what else I want to talk to you guys about? Um, we're going to be talking to our realtor tomorrow. And I know people are wondering, you know, they're going to be coming here. A lot of people want to know how to, you know, get a hookup as far as like, you know, how to get an apartment, how to get a place, you know, whether you want to get an apartment, a home or whatever. Well, we have an excellent realtor. But the thing is that I want to try to do, because this stuff, you know, GoFundMe.com forward slash chocolate vegan help your boy out these things I, I ain't got no job like 
or the brother can use the support, can always use the prayers, but at the end of the day, you know, that cash pays the bills. And, um, you know, it's been almost like now it's going to be, at the end of this week, it'll be two whole weeks since the last time I worked. And, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to look for a job. So until then, I'm, we're going to talk to the realtor tomorrow, and we're going to ask the realtor if, if we plug in something with her to be able to get, um, like, you know, I don't know, some type of, like, thing with you guys. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to talk about it, set, it, set something up or whatever. And if it's not nothing that can be done with that, then, you know, I'll still give you guys information, whatever. But I'm going to be, you know, I'll let you guys know, the ones who need to know about who you can talk to. That video will be coming up very shortly. So at the end of the day, like I said, this is a vegan meal. This is how you do it's delicious. I can't wait. I'm going to dig in. I'm going to go in. And, you know, because I'm greedy. I'm a greedy vegan. So I'll eat two or even three of these helpings of food right here. So um, at the end of the day, you know, that's basically how it goes. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, always, you know, I, yo, I just came out to Jacuzzi again. And the funny part is the kids from the from the little neighborhood here, the little complex here, they all ran to me. It was exactly four or five, six, it was six of them. And he was like, sir, you going know, swimming? Can you please take us with you? And I was just like, oh, I don't want to tell the kids no. So I had the kids there. They were swimming. I don't even know if it was okay with the parents or anything. I know I would have to be responsible if anything happened. So they already asked me if I'm going tomorrow and can I take them. So what I'm going to let them know tomorrow, I got to let them down easy. I don't want no issues here. Um, I'm going to let them know that. And it is true, but I'm going to let them know that the, the office talked to me and said that, you know, I would have to be responsible for them and I can't, you know, have the responsibility. You know, that's what they have parents for. So, you know, can't always be too nice. You know, you be too nice on too many things and then you turn out getting screwed in the end. So, yeah, so. That's what it is. So, yeah, at the end of the day, man, thanks for watching. Holla at your boy. Uh, see you guys in the next video. <clears throat> Stay hydrated. Love you guys, man. I'm out. Mm. What What y'all still doing here? Oh, you say you want to taste some of this broccoli? Here you go. Open up. Open up. There you go. Delicious, right? All right, y'all. Peace out.